A Duval County Public Schools officer is now out of a job after school investigators found she went into the principal's office without permission. A report from the school district details what they call improper actions by Officer Karen King. Channel 4's Ethan Calloway is live from school board headquarters with what investigators say happened next. Ethan? Well, Mary, this all happened at Baldwin Middle Senior High School, and this official report from Duval County Public Schools explains that Karen Keene used her position as a campus officer to uh, get her daughter's cell phone back. It all started in September when school administrators confiscated the cell phone of Officer Karen Keene's daughter. The report shows the student had been warned about cell phone use during class before. Principal Denise Hall took the phone, placing it in her desk drawer. She told investigators she planned to return the phone to the student's mother later that evening. But according to the district's report, Keene had already taken the phone back, entering the office without permission. It's unusual for law enforcement to be reprimanded like this because, you know, they know better than to go into a principal's office, even though they have a key, uh, to go into the principal's office for personal reasons. The report explains when the principal tried to get in touch with Keene that evening, the officer told her an administrator had already returned the phone. Principal Hall points out during an interview with investigators that wasn't possible. She explained her office door was locked and no other administrators had a key to get in. A review of surveillance video later showed Keene used a master key to enter the principal's office with her daughter, getting the phone out of her desk drawer and leaving. Keene was suspended without pay and terminated after the investigation was completed. But she went in there for personal reasons and not just going into the office, but going through the principal's desk. You know, that's just going a bit too far. And Keen maintained throughout this investigation that she was told by a male administrator that she could go into the office and get that phone. The official report found that that was not the case. Reporting live tonight, I'm Ethan Calloway, Channel 4, the local station.